Hello Grebos and welcome back to downloadable content. In today's video we are actually going to be taking a first look at the game from Vertigo Games called After the Fall. Vertigo Games has been kind enough to hook me up with a copy of this game so I can showcase to you early and bring you a first look for this game. So let's see what it's all about. So what I like to do is click in the right stick to get into my settings wheel here and it gives you overall. So if we look at general, you could skip calibration every single time you turn the game on. So if you know and you're calibrated, just turn that on. Your movement, you could set it from teleporting to sliding. So sliding is what you expect from VR. Teleporting is don't play teleporting and you have full control. So if you're one of those people and you're insane and you like to move your controller and turn based on where your hand is, you could do that, but you could also mount it to just your hand. The gameplay itself, you have your inventory. So you holster your inventory here, or you could put your inventory on more of a selection wheel, which to each their own. The grip mode, I like to put mine as manual. And what that means is when you pick things up, you, you could put it down yourself. So I like having that on. I like having the weapon weight because it feels pretty cool. And then there's also two different types of reloading. There's the advanced reloading, which you'll probably expect from normal VR games like Boneworks and Half Like Alex, where you have to manually do that. And they give you a reward for it. You get plus 50% harvest game, which will go over. There's also the normal Arizona Sunshine style of reloading, where after you press the button to release your mag, you bring it down to your ammo, and that will reload it for you. But, eh. I mean, sometimes you might want to use that one if you're overwhelmed. I get it. So let's get past this boring part and let me show you the fun gameplay. So without further ado, let's hit this button and show you guys what you came here for. And there we go. We have some enemies. And obviously, let's start this off the right way. Boom! Right in the melon. Well, AI, let's have some fun and take down some snow breeze. Yeah! You have to reload by pressing the right hand bottom button, grab a new clip from this one, stick it in and then pull. That's that advanced reloading that I was talking about. This gives you what's known as more harvest at the end of the level and per kill. Harvest you will use to actually buy different upgrades. So it's pretty important, especially in the early stage when you're kind of like leveling up per se and getting new gear. You're probably gonna wanna play like this one um, if you're also used to other VR games, you'll probably like to play like this. But I will warn you, you will get kind of overrun this way. It's <laughs> it's tough to be like, okay, put that in there, then do the thing. Like when you have more than just these guys coming at you, you'll probably see later me panic. And that's that harvest. You see all this like weird yellow R and stuff. That's what you want to pick up from the zomboids after you've killed them. And when you're done, don't forget to restock. When you're going to really dark places, it manually puts the flashlight on for you. I wish there was a way that I could toggle this one, but you know, whatever. Flashlight is fun and cool to use. You're also going to notice in parts of the level these weird like looking tendril things with some shoot me spots. Those, well, it tells you just shoot me. And these will open up different parts of the level. Now this is also the fun part. You don't know where the enemies are going to pop up next, so you're going to want to check around every corner. And also check out the level because around other places you're going to find random loot to pick up. And the loot that you find within game can be collected and put in your holsters to bring to the next safe zone. And that will give you new upgrades for your guns. So when you run into something locked, shoot it out. Yeah, we got two there. I haven't checked this room out so I don't really want to fire until we see that. Oh, look, a frozen guy. He's going to give us another pipe bomb. What a friend. Thanks, bud. Oh, he broke the pieces. That's gonna be bad. All right, enough of this. Pipe bomb throw. Okay, wait for it to blow. Woo! You guys see that tendril that just spawned there? They're gonna need help. Here's a pipe bomb, don't worry. What's that big thing? Ugh! Come on, pipe bomb. Oh boy. See, this is what I'm talking about, about reloading. Now I'm like, okay, get the pizza slot in there. All right. And look at this, because it's different every single time, you don't know what you're gonna get into. That big muscle guy there doesn't seem friendly, so I'm gonna create some distance from him. No, oh, he's grabbed me! Friends, help! I'm being choked! Ah, I'm shooting him in the head! Oh, 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 okay. See, you gotta be careful around these parts. You don't wanna get grabbed and choked. Who knows what's gonna happen? Remember what I said about the tendrils? When you see them, shoot their little parts to open up new sections. Let's check out this room to see if there's anything interesting in here. Right out the gate, looks like there's more ammo. So let's hit that open. Thanks for that ammo. And it looks like we have something here. Let's open it up. 
You can interact with different pieces of the level as long as they have that little blue square around them. Well, no problem. I'm gonna grab this little handle and slide. Whoa, what fun. And you already know that there's gonna be like a bunch of zombies here. Like, look at them. They're all over there. So what we're gonna do is take here this pipe bomb. Come on. Don't you have any dignity? Anyone order a pipe bomb to go? Okay, run, everyone run. Here's another example of something that you're gonna grab. So this is an improved floppy disk. So I'm gonna put that one right in here. Ah, because that one is upgrades. And if I live through this, I can bring that upgrade with me and upgrade my stuff at the very end. What are you doing? You're inside the door. Come on, in or out. I see a couple of snow guys there and an office. This one uses different type of ammo. So I feel like I get a little bit more headshots, a little more bang for my buck. Yeah, I see you. It's definitely a weaker pistol, not gonna lie. Get Ugh. Woo! That's a couple of them. I don't feel like dealing with them. So, pipe bomb throw. What a terrible throw. Get them. Okay, that's a couple of them, right? All right, and then I wanna get some of their harvest because I don't wanna miss anything. Oh no! They're coming from up there! That guy's running. I have one bolt before I need to reload and I have a Ugh, pipe bomb. Pipe bomb throw. Come on, come on, while I reload, get him pipe bomb. See, and that's why you want to be as creative as possible and rain limbs upon your friends. We have more company coming in. Ugh. Dealing with these little guys with this better pistol. Oh no, it feels good. It absolutely feels good. I like the gunplay in this one. One-handed bullet. Oh, I got to chamber it. Okay, now one-handed bullet. Boom. Wow, these things just keep coming. What did I do wrong? Probably those pipe bombs that I shot off just before. Probably not the most conducive to being quiet, you know? Here's one guy. Let's just close range execute him. Boom! Got your friends. What are you eating? Oh, no. You knew that this was going to be bad. Why did I use those pipe bombs so soon? I hope we have the ammo to get through this. Get back. After the fall, my butt. And look at that. We hit our first safe room. Now this is actually pretty yeah, interesting. Let's go to this little door here. panel here. So it's actually face, like reckon, reckon, recognition recognizes your face with English words. So what you're gonna do is put your actual human face, like go to it and then lean your face in. Look, like it scans my face, how cool is that? And now it can actually open that safe room. That's pretty bad ass. So now that we're in our, one of our first kind of like checkpoints, the level's not over. So what I want to do is go into like right here. I want to take out that floppy disk that I had picked up and put it in this little section right here. So now that will save it towards the end of the level so I can get an upgrade. And we hit the big red button and let's move on. So now that we're in these creepy apartments, you really want to check every single zone because the game, although the level itself isn't procedural, the enemies and enemy types are. So you don't know what's going to pop up and when. So be very careful with what you shoot. Look at that. Filled with enemies, and then we have a hallway filled with enemies. So this is going to be tough. I want to kind of probably farm them over there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just start popping some shots in there. One at a time. Look to our right because we definitely have our friends coming. And, uh, oh, they're climbing on the ceilings. You'll also notice I just shot one of those red pustulio things. Those red pustulio things, if you're outnumbered, you shoot them and it blows up the zombies that are near them. So keep that in mind. There's things in the level that you can absolutely use to kind of give you the advantage even when you just have a pistol. Good. Now look, if I was careless, I would have missed this upgrade. Let's lean down and grab this bad boy and put it in our inventory. You'll notice I've taken a little bit of damage now. So on my right hand side, you'll see my little meters down. And I didn't bring one of those jello shots. So I'm not gonna be able to heal myself just yet. What's this? Looks like it needs a key card. So looks like there's some loot to find still. This man knows what he's talking about. Let's grab this. Sorry, buddy. I need to inject this in my hand. A key card. This is what we're looking for before. All right, key card. Looks like you go right in here. Swipe. Doors open. There's better be some good loot in here. Looky here. We have found ourselves a nice looking rifle. That is exciting. <sighs> okay, let's run to this next area and find out what else we got. Face scanner here. Nice, another face scanner. Hello. I'm excited. I get to show you some nice rifle scanner. combat. 
two-handed firing actually feels really cool. There's a lot of different style influences. I think it's your forward hand kind of... It feels like real life. I don't know. The like, best way to put it is it feels good. Where do we go? See a nice big crane there. Looks like it's attached to something. Well, let's open this because the guy said we need to give that winch a crank. So, uh, crank it. Turn the power on. Oh, look. I'm turning it green. Look at me. There we go. I knew they would send some people. Uh, don't climb up. Oh, someone kill him. What is that guy? Oh, my gosh. Did I kill him? I think I just machine gunned his whole chest. I was scared for no reason. Oh, look, I see some Pastulio things. Hey, Pastulio things. Get off there. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And even in the thick of combat, make sure you go back around and pick up that other harvest stuff because you don't want to miss out on your precious loot. We're doing these runs for a reason, you know? All right, now we're out of that one problem. I assume there's gonna be many more where that came from. And I'm gonna switch back to pistol. I feel like I'm gonna need that other one in a little bit. So I don't wanna blow through all that ammo. I mean, I do have this God amazing pistol. It just starts wrecking face. This was worth the investment. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You already know there's gonna be like a, a thousand zombies that pop up out of nowhere. Ah, yeah. see? There was already two. Oh, I knew it. Am I a genius or what? Yeah, come on, bring it. Yeah, nothing. You see that? Is that not gonna blow? Oh, there we go. Why would you waste that barrel on two guys? Guys, look out. I'm shooting the thing. Look at me. Look at me, honestly. So that's our friend right there. I think he's down. So we might have to res him. No. What the hell is that thing? Oh my god, he almost jumped on me! Guys! Guys! Uh, help, 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 help! Kill him! Why, that guy can just walk through the pillars? Alright, so, I don't know what I'm messing around here for. We're gonna need this gun. Oh, he has this little spot, so shoot him in the weak spots. Oh, he's gonna punch me! You see now why the non-advanced reloading is, like, um, technically better? I mean, I, this is why you get rewarded, but... Whew! I lost two of my survivor friends. That's bad. I'm gonna have some explaining to do when I get back. So what happened to Jimmy? Well, you see, Jimmy was hit by one of those zombie train guys. Ah! Uh, he's gonna punch me. To uh, see, that would have been me. Please, hit him in the arm. Come on, Jen. Yeah, you little piece of human garbage. Oh, now you re revive them? Yeah. Get wrecked. Now with my new formed team, we will run through that safety door. Come on. Stop diddly daddling, Jimmy. And then we hit the button to end. Yay, look at us, we did it. And you also get the rewards based on what you've collected and how you did. So if you don't go down, you get like a 10% buff and what you collect. Look at all that stuff. 10% damage increase, that is amazing. And if you pick up any duplicates, it rewards you. Looks like we're back to our friendly hugs. So I have this amazing gun and I'm excited about it. We can customize it by putting it here, but I've already shown you customization. Let's show you recyclization. You put this whatever you want in here, just kind of go right in there. And then what you do is close it up, get closed up and tip top to it, it should get recycled for you. So now what we do is we put this on here and we add our upgrade. Yeah, look at that. I gave it a nice tape job. And don't forget, after you're done upgrading, make sure you recycle your old stuff for more credits. Well, Grebos, this has been a first look at the game after the fall. The game is available on December 9th, so don't forget to pre-order because I believe it's on sale. I'll give you my opinion right now. The game is super fun. I like shooting things. I'm sure playing with people is gonna be a blast over the AI. I do have one concern, but before I get there, let me say this. It's cool that the different levels are more or less procedurally generated for the AI and not the actual environment itself, because that would have been tricky. But I do appreciate it every time I play through it, even on Recruit all the way through Nightmare, the levels feel different every single time. 
Now, what I don't see in the main game itself is a specific horde mode. Now, I'm not going to pass judgment on that just yet because there's technically a secret game mode that I hear you unlock towards the end and I don't want to spoil the fun for everyone. But let's hope that there is a horde mode because that will absolutely give even more replay value. My main concern right now is that the replay value is maybe in the moderate, maybe the moderately low because kind of... Once you've done everything, it might feel the same, but who knows, with the different playthroughs, it might be different. Whoo! I wanna say thank you Vertigo Games for hooking us up with an early access copy. It's been a blast, the game is super fun, and I do recommend getting that one. Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? <laughs> it's free! All you have to do is click the button down below and join up. I wanna say a special thanks to my patrons I have listed on screen here. You guys are amazing and thanks for supporting a lunatic like me so I can continue to play some random and fun VR games. Other than that, I'm Rob from Downloadable Content. Thank you so much for stopping by, but I will see you in the next video.